morning once again. Uh, welcome to Some Good Seeds. Glad to have you with me again this morning. My Bible reading schedule takes me through the book of Leviticus chapters 10, 11, and 12, and Acts chapter 16. And it's from, it's from the 11th chapter of Leviticus, verses 46 and 47, that I want to share some thoughts to plant a seed in our hearts and minds today. Uh, sometimes we read through Leviticus and wonder what in the world that's all about. But here's a couple of verses that really spoke to my heart. This is the law of the animals and the birds and every living creature that moves in the waters and of every creature that creeps on the earth to distinguish between the unclean and the clean and between the animal that may be eaten and the animal that may not be eaten. Uh, this is just so interesting to me because a, a, a couple of chapters have been given to the children of Israel here in terms of what they can and cannot eat. Uh, why is why is this so important? Well, since all scripture is given by inspiration and is the infallible word of God, what is this all about? I mean, dead carcasses and bugs and fish and all? Here again, I think, is the beauty of the word of God. An unregenerated person doesn't know Jesus could read this and think, what a waste of time to read this. And sometimes even we as Christians read through this and wonder what this is all about. But again, this is the wonder of the Word of God. When you stop to consider these things, you realize that God did this for their good. It wasn't about a bunch of restrictions or about rules and regulations. It was for their good. What good? Well, it's a matter of simple faith and obedience. The good was that it helped to prevent disease and promote good health in their living and in their eating habits. God was protecting them, but they had to act in faith and obey his word even when they didn't know the things that we know about health and hygiene today. They, they couldn't possibly know about some of the things that we know today because they didn't have access to uh, scientific data, uh, to instruments for checking out the stuff that we eat today. God is faithful to his people. He said to keep his word and that none of the diseases of the Egyptians would come upon them. So what were they to do? have faith, and be obedient to God's word. And I think the same is true for us today. We walk by faith and not by sight. When God tells us to do something, it's for our good. He allows things to come for the purpose of testing our faith to see if we will keep his commandments or not. And dear ones, this is so vitally important when it comes to our lifestyle and what we do all the way from from soup to nuts. It's just critical that we hear what God says in his word and stand upon that because if we obey, if we listen and obey, then our lives are going to be fulfilled. We will be the people that God's called us to be and uh, we can put our faith and our trust in the word of God. He is doing whatever he does in our lives for our good that we might be strong and, and live for him and be the people that he's called us to be. Amen. I pray the Lord will bless you today as you spend time reading his word and meditating on the word of God. Amen.